My face feels extra puffy today. I don't know why, maybe it's because I was so damn tired last night and it's pretty early. The sun is up. It's gonna be another hot one, right around 100. Who wants to go ride bikes? Me. I'm wearing my fancy riding shirt today. You'll notice it has somewhat of a collar and a pocket. Very useful. Look what I found. Okay, off you go. So apparently I need to be putting more sunscreen on my feet. Oh dear Lord. Almost time to go. Ride my bike again today. All right, it says it's gonna be 98 degrees today in Gothenburg. I don't care if it's a thousand degrees, I just don't want headwinds. Somebody, please turn the wind machine off. Let's go ride bikes. Oh boy. You know what's tender right now, besides my heart? My ass. <laughs> oh man, yesterday I did a number on my booty. Sun is up. I don't feel any wind so far. Ladies and gentlemen, it's another beautiful day to be on planet Earth. No flatties, no crashies, no whammies, no headwindies, most importantly. <laughs> that sucker's going fast, look at that. You see this bird behind me? It's been following me for like a mile. Just chirping, protecting me. Mornings are my favorite part of bike touring. Everything is just still and quiet. The sun is low on the horizon. The temperatures are cool and crisp. The birds are always chirping. Giant semis are flying by. <laughs> it's peaceful. Yeah, buddy. Woo, yeah. I'm rolling into this tiny town called Kozad, and a woman on Instagram wrote me last night said, Hey, I work in Kozad. I'll come out and say hi to you. Hi there. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Susan. It's crazy to think that I have viewers in such small towns. My sweet mama just sent me a text. Check it out. It says, excessive heat index in your area today and tomorrow. Drink lots of water and keep your neck gator wet to cool you. Oh, and be safe and have fun. <laughs> Love you, mama. Taking good care of me even when I'm far away. I'll take this moment to talk about my mom a little bit. I know that my adventures stress her out. She, of course, she's a mom. She gets very nervous. She's scared that something could happen to me. But she tries her best to support me, and it means a lot. So even though, mom, I'm sorry you have full white hair, gray hair, because of maybe my adventures, I don't know why, but uh, thank you for the love and support. It means the world to me. Fill up some water. Oh, no, no, Great. You see that thing flap, flap, flapping away? That's not necessarily good. It's a bit of a crosswind today, so it's not as bad as yesterday. But man, come on, wind, give me a break. Hey, these birds again. They love. Hey, buddy. These birds love following me. Maybe it's because I kind of go their speed. Maybe they're my guardian angel birds. Check it out. Hi, buddy, hi. <laughs> I love this. Why are you following me? I quite enjoy it. Huh. I've never experienced that on a bike tour before. And if I have, I just haven't noticed it. Honk, 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 honk. Yeah! I was riding by and I had to come see this. Look at this, Odessa. Auto sales. Looks like they only have a used tractor left. Come and get it. You know I had.
had to get some ice cream, right? I mean, it was right there and so easy. Today feels good. Today feels a lot better than yesterday. I was trying to get through this town in a timely manner, but then this happened. Beans. That digital sign right there says it's 97 degrees. It's not even close to 100. It feels like springtime out here. <laughs> ole, 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 ole. I know it's not technically a tunnel, but it'll have to do. It's been a long time since I've olayed. The sun is now on the right side of me, so I'm putting sunscreen all over the right side of my face. Ooh. You know I love Casey's because they have beer and ice cream, but they also have a beer cave, and it's a gigantic walk-in cooler, and it is so amazing. Oh, 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 oh my God, it's, it's like being in the North Pole. Oh, I wonder how long it takes until they kick me out of here. Oh, this feels so incredible. My nipples are getting a little hard. <laughs> a few moments later. Damn it, it's hot out here. <laughs> oh, it's crazy hot. Like, it feels like a big, thick blanket just wrapped me up right when I walked outside. Oh, okay, let's go. Thank you, Casey's. I don't know what happened to my sweet little Lincoln Byway Highway 30, but it got really busy. There are big trucks left and right. Like that one right there. I need to find a smaller road. This was just not gonna work. Jesus! Ooh. 100 degrees. All right, it hit 100. It is impressively hot. I have to say, I've, I've felt 100 plenty of times, usually in Colorado where it's a dry heat, but this humid heat, holy hell, it is oppressive. <laughs> Honk. You know what I love? Brand new smooth black pavement. It really does make a big difference. Your tires just roll so much smoother. And I also love tailwinds. And gigantic semi-trucks. There's my bird, you can see a shadow. Ice water. Uh -huh. mm. Whew. Can I get a medium Oreo blizzard? Okay. Oh, ho, ho. This is a tough city to navigate. There's 50,000 people that live here. And I don't quite know where I'm gonna stay tonight because big towns are really hard to camp in, like in the town. Like town parks usually don't let you do that. So I'm gonna have to get creative. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This blizzard's gonna bring me the answers. I'm confident of that. So I've decided that I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna pass right on through Grand Island. The Google route has me going north all the way to Council Bluffs for the rest of the route. And today, Highway 30 just turned into a cluster. So much traffic, so I'm hoping this other alternative route has less traffic. There's only one way to find out. There's the tall corn. Check it out, a free campground. Oh my God. I don't know if I've ever sweat this much in my entire life. My body, my shirt, this is not from soaking it with water, that is straight sweat. The sun was beating down on me so hard those last 20 miles. I'm glad I pushed it, it felt good. I felt like, you know, when Michael J Jordan talks about being in the zone, that's how I felt. I was just, boom, powering down here and the, the highway was so much better than Highway 30. Not much traffic, beautiful light, the cornfields, you could see them going on forever and ever. Oh man, 
felt really, really good. I probably filled up my water bottles, all four of them, three times, and bought other drinks along the day. Oh man, it's been a long time since I've been this exhausted, but I feel, I feel really good about it. It's not like headwind exhausted. It's like, yes, I, I went fast and I went forward and it felt good. It is oppressively hot. <laughs> it's still like 90 something, it's 10 p.m. There is no wind and I'm just sitting in my tent dripping. <laughs> I'd rather be on my bike actually. I should have just ridden all through the night. It's like 10 o'clock and this young man comes by and he goes, are you Ryan Doozer? And I was like, what? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you hey, bud? my name's Carson. I'm from Aurora. I just saw Ryan's Instagram post about him. I saw the road he was on and I knew that this was the town that I live in. I'm like, oh, I better go down to the park and see if he's camping here. And sure enough, here he is. <laughs> <laughs> what did you tell your parents? Uh, I said, uh, I looked at the watch. I'm like, I'll be right back bag i think i know a bike rider who's in town and they were my mom was freaked out she's like what if he's a serial killer and my dad's like if he's a serial killer why would he be putting on instagram wherever he's going that's true so <laughs> and i'm a vegetarian so i doubt i'm gonna kill humans if i don't even kill animals yep awesome so tell you said you like bikes why do you watch my channel um i actually found you uh with love cycles or whatever i just started watching it and i've watched so many of your videos oh that's so awesome yeah. why do you love biking dude um uh I don't actually know. I started when I was like in sixth grade and I just, I bike around town a whole bunch. I'm kind of known as the biker around town. It's just really relaxing to put on some music and yeah. just go for it. How many people live in this town? 4,500, I think, yeah. something somewhere around there. Are there many bike riders here? Um, not like me, no. <laughs> That's awesome. I am so glad you came and found me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sir, this is so cool, man. Yep. And we have this spooky light right now. Ooh, one of those lights too. <laughs> spooky light. Anyway, bud, I wish you all the best. You and if you ever have any questions about biking or whatever, let me know, man. I'm I'm here for you. I am not a serial kill killer. <laughs> Mom, I'm not a serial killer. And can you turn down the heat? I wish I could. It is, what, 93 out right now? 93. <laughs> and it's, what time is it? 10.03. 10.03. Ah! My, my man. Boom. <laughs> I think we just woke up everybody in the campground, but oh, sorry. Wow.